Y'all, I got the upgrade. I'm not gonna say lifetime, but maybe of a decade. It's pretty insane. All right, so I sold one of my 60s and we're gonna purchase a 90 for here. I got four grand for my 60 and it's in decent condition, but it's been used in the salt water a lot and I don't really like that idea. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, um, but I don't want any issues. Sold it for four grand, purchased a 90, two years newer for 4,200. So a $200 upgrade i can't believe it i got 30 more horsepower two years newer 200 bucks can't freaking beat it such a steal all right it's early saturday morning i didn't comb my hair i didn't brush my teeth i'm out here um, trying to get this motor either on the boat or at least in a place where i can get it out of the truck bed and have a cover on it because it's about to storm on us this morning all right, so last night I picked up the 90 after work. Um, it was all the way two and a half hours away down south. So it took quite a bit of driving to get there. It took us at least an hour to get it off the, uh, off the boat. He was a really nice guy. He actually launched the boat, drove it around a couple of circles, went forwards and backwards for me. I was like, that's not even all necessary. I was like, you could have just dipped it in the water, put it in forward and reverse. I could have seen the prop move, you know, whatever. But anyway, Great experience getting the motor last night. I got in probably around 10 o'clock. A couple of reasons I ended up choosing the 90. One is it's gonna be so much work on changing out two of these motors, hunting them down, going to meet people and purchase two different times, mounting these things and making sure that everything lines up and fits right and works up just right. Since it's a lot of work, I wanted to make it worthwhile. So by putting a 75 on here and only gain, you know, 15 on each uh, horsepower, just didn't seem like it was uh, lucrative enough. It didn't seem like it made enough sense. So to upgrade to 60 more horsepower, we're upgrading by a third. Um, you know, it's like adding a whole nother 60 horsepower on this boat. The second main reason that I went with a 90 is because they're more popular. So you see way more 90s than I see 70s or 75s. I'm gonna have a better chance of finding an exact uh, brother to this engine, essentially something that's in the same era, um, 2001, 2005, something like that. This had a tiller handle when I purchased it. Um, well, I guess when it was listed, let's say. And when I showed up, I told him that I wasn't even going to need the tiller. I'm going to end up selling it. He was like, well, let's just do it for 42 then instead of 4,800. So that was great. I got uh, 600 off. And I believe that the big tiller handles, the Yamaha big tiller handles cost around 600. So for me to try and sell a used one, um, I think I made out great like that. So that was awesome. All right, so as you can see, we've got the motor um, in place. I haven't quite screwed it in yet but I'm going to hook up the electrical and just like to hear it turn over for the first time. Maybe hit the tilt switch, make sure everything works. I know I saw it work in person, but it's always cool to see it, I guess, work on your own boat and with my own key switch. So check it out, the 90, it's much larger than the 60. Um, it, it sits lower in the water. It's got a bigger prop. It is just a much, much, bigger engine than this little guy um, and when I saw this on Facebook marketplace you can't really tell the size of this thing and you might not even be able to tell with the with the hood off all right I got the hood propped up there proper so you can kind of tell a little more of the size that we're talking about it's gonna be quite a bit bigger so now I have to decide am I putting two more leaf springs and another axle on this thing because I feel like it kind of needs it now all right, so one concern that I didn't foresee when I purchased these 90s, or this 90 so far, um, is the transom is gonna have extra weight on it. This thing weighs four or 500 more pounds. I might put uh, a aluminum bracket or some sort on here, because there's nothing. It came from the factory like this, but it came from the factory with 60s, and they are much lighter. And obviously, I didn't buy this hood for looks, or this motor for the looks, because they, they used it for a duck boat. I know they go through a lot of mud when you do that sort of stuff, but um, that means it's also fresh water. And this one was primarily salt water. And 
although the outer appearance of this thing looks good because they would hose it off every time but your engine sucks up all the spray that's in the air and all the salt that's in the mist of that water out there gets sucked up in the cowling and into your cylinders and all the internal components get corroded faster on a saltwater motor so that's another reason we're getting rid of this bad boy or little girl i should say this is the bad boy we just need to find him a brother and uh we'll be in business so believe it or not things worked out perfectly it fits right on this wire harness and wires straight to the battery straight to my key up there tilt works that's awesome all right you won't see this on film because one my battery is dying because this stupid bilge pump decided to turn on for no reason the other day oh and reason number two is because i don't have the gas hooked up yet but i heard it run i know it works uh compatible with my existing so excited about this all right a couple things that we are learning um as we go the bracket um and holes on the 60 uh four stroke yamaha are exactly in the same spot as the 90 and the wire harness hooks exactly up also so those are two awesome benefits of uh if you're gonna power up from a 60 to a 90. um obviously both these things would have been fixable but i would have spent more money on a wire harness um and i would have had to drill new holes and patch up old holes and stuff on my boat so i don't have to do all that that's really awesome yep so far so good this repower upgrade is uh working out pretty swell i'm pretty happy now we have all these wires here but this guy had a tiller handle on this he didn't have a speedometer hooked up or a tachometer or anything like that um so we're gonna try and get some of that hooked up and i think they're in here so we're gonna see all right it's a couple phillips Whoop. all right so i've got that cover off and these wires don't go anywhere under here and i've got these pulled out and they don't go over here there's no other wires on this thing i don't understand it all right, the two wire connections that I took off the 60 are here and up under the front under this solenoid here. And on our 90, there's nothing here in the front. There's nothing here on the side, but the two connections that do look like it are these. What I'm gonna do is turn the water on, get the engine running, unplug one of these plugs, make sure the engine still runs the same. If, it's, if it changes the engine i'll plug it back in but anyway i'll plug it in to see if the tachometer works on our gauges up there and i'll do the same with the other one like i said provided the engine's still running good i hate to say it but we're not going to be able to take care of that today we are out of time and i'll have to show you in a future video um, figuring out wire connections from the 60 to the 90 yamaha thank you all for watching and as always stay safe out there so you can return home still alive Thank you.